Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who create millstone, who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the elect out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Alright, this lesson is going to be entitled, The Nations Will Flow to Israel. Alright, and it's, you know, in time prophecy, you know, after Jacob's trouble, after, you know, uh, uh, the hour of temptation, which is <laughs> is going to be by, you know, Esau presenting uh, the whole world with the, the mark of the beast. And, you know, you won't be able to operate in society without it, you know, you won't be able to buy or sell. And then after that, you know, World War Three, you know, Armageddon. But then, you know, after that, when... Uh, when Israel is established as the kings, the, the uh, and is exalted under Yahweh Bashem Al uh as you know the the ruling nation, um, you know the kingdom of heaven. That's when you know the nations are gonna get in order and and pay tribute to the Israelites. All right, and uh, I'm gonna start off by reading Isaiah chapter two, and I'll start at one. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, uh, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. All right. So when <laughs> and that, that was, you know, promised from the beginning, you know, that Israel was going to be, you know, on top. Matter of fact, let's get um. Let's get Psalm. Let's get Psalms the second chapter. Um let's get Psalms two and uh, I'll start at seven. I will declare the I'll declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou, thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a, a potter's vessel. All right, because it, it was, you know, part of Jacob's blessing, whose name was later turned to Israel. And he was the progenitor of the Israelites, the twelve tribes of Israel. And it was promised by the Most High, Yahweh. Through his son Yahweh Shai, that the Israelites would be a kingly and priestly nation and rule over the, the heathens. So in Psalms, it's saying, <laughs> you know, ask, a, you know, pray, pray for that, you know. And it, it says it throughout the scriptures. We can grab uh, Deuteronomy 28. This is a Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it says, and it shall come to pass. Thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. All right, so, you know, that, that is part of the, the contract, the, the agreement, all right, between the Israelites and the Most High, is if we observed and did the law, statutes, and commandments, that we would be uh, on high. You know, above all the other nations. All right. So, and of course, you know, we, we didn't follow them. So we, you know, are under the curses. All right. But, you know, in due time, he's going to forgive uh, Israelites of their iniquities and, and program to, to be righteous. You can read about that in Isaiah, is it 31? Or is it 30? Let's see. I know it's in uh, Hebrews 8 and 8. Jeremiah 31 and 31. That's what it is. Um, yeah, Jeremiah 31 and... I'll start at 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, so in the latter days, you know, obviously, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and will be their, their God, and they shall be my people. 
and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and, w and I will remember their sin no more. So when that happens, you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll be programmed to hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord. <laughs> so we won't have to go through the mental warfare of, you know, oh, is this, is this right? Is this wrong? You know, we won't be subjected to the, the lustful flesh, all right? We'll have that, <laughs> we'll have that righteous body, all right, that new body, all right? So then if we're programmed to do righteousness, then we're going to be programmed to rule over the, the other nations, all right? So let's go back to Isaiah 2, um, verse 3. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of uh, of the God of Jacob, all right, Yahweh, and he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from, Jer from Jerusalem, all right? So <laughs> all the nations are going to come to us to seek, you know, counsel, to seek how how to run things, how to, you know, we're going to be teaching them, you know, how, how to, what to do with their resources, and they're going to be bringing their resources to us, you know, kind of like, uh, what, what was that, uh, uh, Queen, Queen Sheba that, that, you know, came to Solomon, you know, and brought resources to Solomon to seek his wisdom. That's how it's going to be. That was a prelude to what's to come in the kingdom of heaven, you know, under Yahweh Bashan al Shai. So you're going to have all these nations flow unto Jerusalem, all right, the people of Jerusalem, which are the Israelites, to seek how to, you know, to seek after the wisdom of, of the Most High. And it's going to be through the Israelites, all right. And he, shall, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, Neither shall they learn war any more. All right, and, and a lot of a lot of wars are fought over resources. All right, but there won't be need for you know to to fight for resources when the Israelites are in rulership because we're going to know how to uh, 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 deal with you know to 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 make those resources be fruitful and multiply. All right, and you know when you go into that word rebuke you know when israel is rebuking these nations it, you know it's to judge all right to prove decide judge rebuke reprove correct be right all right so we're going to be correcting them you know to be chastened just like the most high chastened us whenever we went off that's how we're going to be with these nations whenever they break the law statutes and commandments uh, of the of the scriptures you know of yahweh bashim al shai you know we're going to be casting judgment on them, all right, whether it be by punishing them or, you know, <laughs> just sending, uh, like, like, you know, with our hands, you know, or we can just send, you know, we'll, we'll have power over the elements and, and send a storm over there. Um, let's see, yeah, that, that's pretty much it on that. So let's go to Micah 4 and 1. You know, this roughly says the same thing, but this is Micah 4 and 1. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it. You know, there's that phrase again, you know, flowing unto it. Because, um, uh, well, like now, Esau has his banking system, right? And it's, it's... All of their terminologies are are uh, are based off of a, a river, all right? Because he calls it a bank. You also have a river bank, all right? And you you have what's called bank deposits, all right? And you have river bank deposits. You know, whenever the river flows, it pushes, you know, all the resources into those deposits, and then you you can you know find gold, silver. Iron, that's where all the heavy metals end up in those deposits. So whenever you make a deposit to Esau's bank, he's collecting your resources and he can go out and, and flip it. 
but in the kingdom of heaven, the Israelites are going to be, you know, the, that bank, all right? They're going to flow into us. They're going to be giving us their resources so we can be fruitful and multiply with it, you know? Uh, verse 2, And many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and to the house of the God of Jacob, and he, he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for the law shall go forth of Zion. All right, and Zion is, you know, the mountain in, uh, uh, um, in Israel, all right, and any mountain structure is, you know, uh, symbolic for a government. So Zion is symbolic for, you know, the governing body of the Israelites. All right, and that's also why it says, in the top of the mountains, and it shall be exalted above all the hills. That's just a symbolic way of saying Israel is going to be on top. All right. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up a sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war any more. All right. And that's how you know that, <laughs> you know, those... Uh, uh, fake Israelis over there in the land of Israel right now are not <laughs> are not the true Israelites, all right? Because there's still a war going on, all right? But when the in, when the kingdom of heaven is established and the Israelites are brought back to their homeland, there there's not going to be any more war, all right? <laughs> it says, but they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts hath spoken it. For all people will walk every one in the name of his God, and we and we will walk in the name of the Lord our power forever and ever. Alright. So the Israelites are gonna be walking in the name of Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai forever and ever. So we won't be going off. Alright, but it says, For all people will walk every one in the name of his God. All right, now let's go into this word God. It's Elohim, all right, which means rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods. So who are, who who will be the nation's gods, all right? It's going to be the Israelites, all right? 